after building quite a few whirly gigs using wind power, I'm now going to try to use solar power also. I got the idea from one of my subscribers, Alex Tran. Also, the difference is the driving mechanism. For a whirly gig to move the design, it takes a propeller using wind energy. Now the new idea is to use a solar panel instead, but you also need a motor. So it's not just a solar panel alone. You also need a motor to convert that electrical energy into motion. And I'm using a small 6 volt solar panel and a small DC motor. This one is a brushed DC motor. I have here my first small solar panel which I hooked up to my voltmeter and if I put it in full sun it delivers about 2.26 volt maximum. So now I'm hooking up this small my first solar panel to this DC motor and let's see what it does. So it's working but now I'm hooking it up with the other DC motor and it works but not very well. And here is my second small solar panel and I hooked it up to the voltmeter and this one delivers about 6.5 volts when in full sun. Well, a little more depending on how much sun it, it gets. It's about 6.8 max I would say. Now I hooked up the second solar panel which delivers about 6.8 volts to this bigger motor and it really works well. The first one I built was the shoemaker coupler. So it is using a solar panel a DC motor and another smaller DC motor. The solar panel is a 6 volt solar panel. The bigger motor is one I bought from Amazon and, I, Amazon and I removed these panels so I'm using this DC motor unfortunately it's a brushed DC motor and the smaller motor is also a DC motor When the sun hits the solar panel, it goes into action.
second one I built is the putter. So it's also driven by a solar panel. It's the lady puttering and there's another small DC motor. So this time the, I had to use a bigger solar panel. This is a 12 volt solar panel. because the DC motor of the computer fan asks for 12 volts. The DC motor from the computer fan is used to drive the potter's wheel. And then this DC motor is the same as the one I used in the first solar gig. <coughs> So if it goes into, into the sun, it should start working. In my next video, I will show how I made this Potter solar gig and also explain some problems which I had with it. <laughs>